guys, welcome back to my channel, Nina's House of Spice. Today I'm gonna be making, well, I'm not, my sister-in-law's gonna be making uh, turkey. It's Thanksgiving. We were lucky enough to find halal meat, halal turkey. This is a whole turkey. Um, we brined this last night. Um, so what you do is you're gonna boil about a gallon of water, pour it in this big pot here. Uh, to it, you're gonna add celery, onions, sage, rosemary, um, basil, salt and pepper. Um, salt, you wanna use about like uh, three, to three to four tablespoons. Mix it all in there. You have celery, you have orange, lemon. Put it all in here and you're gonna leave, put it, after you do that, sorry, of course the water is hot, you mix it well, and then you're going to add um, some ice cubes to cool it down. Once you cool the water down, you add the turkey. You add the turkey and leave it overnight. So this is the brining part, okay? And from there, we're gonna do uh, the rest of the marination. Anyways, this we've left overnight. And we're going to pat it dry with the paper towel. That's the secret to a nice crispy skin. You make sure you Okay, here dry. we have what goes inside the turkey. What we're gonna stuff in the turkey. We're gonna put some oranges, lemons, celery, lots of knots of garlic, and some rosemary. So over here, we have two sticks of butter, salt and pepper to taste. We have fresh, uh, chop, freshly chopped um, rosemary. Um, what else? This, uh, garlic, thyme, and ground sage. Uh, about uh, we, we're going to use uh, one teaspoon of thyme and one teaspoon of sage. I used about two sticks of these uh, rosemaries that I chopped up and about uh, eight cl cloves of garlic. I'm drying the turkey now. Like I said, you gotta make sure that the turkey skin is nice and dry. Just use a paper towel to dry the turkey. This way you have a nice crispy skin. And also we've preheated the oven at 450 for now. Once it's up to 450, once we're ready to stick the turkey in, we drop the temperature to 350 and we're going to cook it for two hours, two and a half, two and a half. Just hours. to clarify, this is an 11 pound turkey. It's going to cook for about two and a half hours. So it depends on the, your turkey's weight. Uh, just go by that and you can always so use a temperature for it to see if it's cooked. It has to be 165 degrees. And you check for the temp. So once you you check the temperature to see to make sure that the chicken or the turkey is cooked, you stick a pin in to check the temperature. It has to be 165. So the turkey has two cavities, like two openings basically. One here, so we're going to stuff it with orange, lemon, garlic, see plenty of garlic, um, some sage, there we go. And the other cavity is from the neck on this side. So you're gonna stuff it on both sides, you see. So here we go. There we go. We got the celery, oranges, everything. Okay. We're gonna stuff the other cavity, which is the neck. So you can see there. I'm just going to stuff it with orange, lemon, celery, garlic, sage, pour some of that butter and you're gonna massage it, massage it good. So we just there. turned the turkey over and we're massaging the back, the neck, the armpit areas, the under the wings. You make sure <laughs> you massage it good. I'm put it so there you go. Now you're gonna go in between under the skin. You see, see what she's doing? She's putting that marinade, the butter all that under the skin. She's just forcing it in there. There we go. See, we're now going to inject the turkey with that seasoned butter. 
you know, where the breast is and those areas. So we're just going to inject it with all that goodness seasoning. This poor turkey is getting shots left and right. <laughs> it's, this is all yumminess going inside the turkey. Put the turkey over and we're gonna inject uh, the sides, the thighs. There we go. See all this part that has the meat. Sorry. So we're going so to we're inject veggies on the inside, the lemons, the celery, oranges, the rosemary, garlic, all that. We're just going to throw it all in there. So garlic. Now we just cover the turkey. Just leave a little opening, okay? The rest you're going to cover and this is going to go in the oven on 350 for two and a half hours. Remember the turkey uh, depends on the size of the turkey is how much you how long you cook it for this one is 11 pounds it cooks for about two and a half hours so, as a side dish we're gonna make some roasted uh, red potatoes so here's our roasted red potatoes it has the rosemary paprika uh, salt a little salt and pepper and at the end once it's fully cooked we're gonna add some garlic the garlic has to go at the end because we don't want to burn it and we have the gravy here ready to go, the mashed potatoes, everything is ready. And then we have the turkey in there. You can't see okay, the turkey. Okay, so the turkey's done. Here it is. Looks delicious. The whole house smells delicious. We garnished it with some pomegranate. So those are the uh, rosemary, garlic, and red uh, potatoes. Cranberry, we have the buns. We are ready to eat the mashed potatoes. This is the garlic roasted mashed potatoes and gravy. Cut the turkey. Oh, that looks so juicy. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, that looks good. It's perfect. Ooh, look at all the spices and the marinade. Mm. 